everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do just a straight pour or waterfall pour. Just start at the bottom or at the top and tip it a little bit and then just pour down the canvas and see what we get. So let's go over my paints first of all. My base coat I'm going to flood with a combination of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Liquitex uh, on bleached titanium just to give it like a creamy color more than just basic white. The balance of my colors are Liquitex Basics Phalo Blue, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet Light, Amsterdam Permanent Red Purple, Master's Touch Emerald Green, and the last two colors are the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents. I have the Glacier Blue, and I have the Gold Mine. My pouring medium today is seven parts of the mix to one part paint. And I did thin with about five drops of water. And let me show you consistency. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera off. I'm gonna put my base coat down. I'm going to get my cup my cup layered here and then I'll bring you back and we can start painting. Okay everybody I'm back. I've got my base coat down of my uh, cream color. I filled my cup and my cup is very full as you can see. And how I layered my cup is I, I did a layer all the way across not down the side, but all the way across. So I did mix the paints up quite a bit. So how I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit and just start pouring. And as I pour, I will put the canvas down. Still gonna lift it up a little bit here. Get the paint running down the canvas. Plenty of paint for this canvas here today. Okay, there we go. And let's give it a quick torch here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to run my skewer through it a little bit, like a wreck. Just to give the eye a little extra to look at here. Okay, and now I can start tipping. First, I'm just going to bring it down. And when you're tipping, you just want to be mindful of 
the areas that you do like that you want to keep on your canvas. And this canvas does have a lot of areas that I see right now that I like. But since I have so much paint, I'm going to have to pull some off. Go over this corner and bring it back. Bringing it back to the center. Trying to anyway. Okay, I'm going to try and tip to this corner over here. I'm going to bring it down. And I'll bring that back. Back to the center. And now I will. And since there's so much green in this area, I do have some paint left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add that paint down there and see if it makes a difference. I have some purple left. And I have some of this blue left. Some of the lighter blue. Some of the pinks. always just play with your painting. Just add what you think it'll add what you think it'll make it look better. Okay. And now I'm just going to tip down in that area. Bring that back. I'm going to tip off just a little bit on this side here. And bring that back. Try and bring this back into the center here and down. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here now. Okay. I'm going to try and get over this corner here. bring it back. And now I'm going to tip down. Okay, just going to take a look at it now. going to see what's going on here. 
I do like what I added there. I do like this corner and I really like what's going on here. I'm just going to see if I can tip a little bit more off down here. It's down in this corner. And bring that back. I'm just trying to draw out these lines a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it here. And check my corners. And I will clean off the bottom. doing a little patching on the side here. Okay, and I will give it another torch. This is, the lines are just beautiful in here. The mix allows a lot of layers to show through. tip it this way just a little bit and I and I apologize because you're not seeing this happen maybe you can see it now okay pretty happy with that very happy. And I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Just going to fix up my corner here quick. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, here we are for our close-up. Again, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I did a waterfall slash straight pour on. And uh, upper left-hand corner here. The lines are very beautiful. The violet, the red, the blue. You can just see many, many layers of, of this paint coming through and the green coming through like that. It's just beautiful. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. I'll just show you some of the really nice areas. I really like it in here. You can see the purple and the violet coming up. And some of that, that creamy beige color was left in there. And I do like it how some of these cells are outlined with the, the dark blue color, the phthalo blue. 
and this is the upper right hand corner very crisp lines here I'll just take you down the right hand side and here it's so pretty it looks like muted right in there And this is the uh, corner that I added the paint to down here, the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. That would be great. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now. And thanks for watching.